Hi students, welcome to another video on how to use Tinkercad to design and 3D print your own uh, game pieces for a board game. Uh, the last video I showed you how to make um, uh, the tiles. This tutorial here, I'm going to be talking about how to make the chess piece. Um, you might have your own game that's nothing to do with chess at all, but you might have similar type figurines. So let's uh, work out how we can make them in Tinkercad. First, I'll just move uh, these guys out of the way on the workspace, just to give us a bit more, a bit more, a bit more room. I've um, named my file up here, so the name's correct. I've moved it from perspective to um, uh, orthographic, because it's just a bit easier to model. And I've changed my grid to be the same size as my board game so I know exactly what size I'm doing. So you can see the basic shapes I use to build this chess piece here. In fact, it's only just three shapes. It's a, it's a, it's a cube here, a longer column here, and one just going the other way up here. So if I go over to our basic shapes panel, you can see I'm probably gonna start with a box. I'm gonna drag him out. And just like we did with the tile, the first thing I'm going to do is change its dimensions. So if I click on that box, it's 20 by 20. So just like I did on the last one, I'm going to change that shape there. Okay, so I've got my floor plan okay, but the height's just a bit high at the moment. So now I can click that one there, 20. No, I'm probably going to change that to what's 10 look like. Yeah, that's about right. Okay, so I've got my base, but now we can just grab another one of these shapes here. Now, uh, this is a lot skinnier. Again, this is really easy. I might change that to 10. Using the tab key, I'm gonna go across. Um, but it's just off the off a bit here, so I'm gonna grab it, and I'm gonna move it into the center. Now, I've got this, um, uh, the, the snap grid, low enough that I can just uh, push it into shape with my arrow keys if you want. Okay, that's looking pretty center. Always check it, but if I check the side view, I can see it's a lot shorter than here. Now I know that I want my chest piece to be 40 millimeters high, and you too should be making sure that you're making it to the correct scale. So it's starting from the bottom, so I can just either drag this up to 40, or I can type it in. Uh, in fact, I might go 45. That's a better height there. Okay. Always make sure that you're as accurate as possible. Uh, now, uh, we can drag across one more like that. And we're going to do the crossbar like that. So again, uh, it was 10. Uh, I'm going to keep that one at 20. But I'll move this one down to 10 as well. If I move it to this view, I can quickly move it across, but you can see it's not going to let me move it up. I always have to select that little cone there to move it up, and it can be quite hard to select sometimes. It just so you can see it's red when it's ready to go. So now I can move that up and move that back across. I'm gonna zoom right in to make sure it's just where I want it. Yep, that's pretty good. And always check from every view. So I can now again use my arrow keys. And I reckon I could make the height probably a bit less. And that's a good thing about Tinkercad. You can always go back and change your sizes. I'll just lift that up. So again, Okay, now they're still three separate pieces. And I can tell because when I select it, it only selects the bit. But if I select this one over here, it's selecting the whole lot. And that's what we want if we want to 3D print it. So remember, we're going to use our group function. So I'm just going to select there and up here, group. And now it's an entire group. Uh, I can always ungroup if I uh, wanted to change one of these dimensions or move it around a bit, but once I'm ready to 3D print, 
we group it. Okay, so there's our basic shape in how to create a chess piece. In our next video, we'll start looking at some more complicated shapes like this one here.